Welcome to NCARB exam practice test. Our topic today is practice management too. Use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store for free practice tests. Number 1. What is the break-even rate? A. The ratio of total indirect expenses to total direct labor. B. The dollar amount charged to a client relative to one hour of direct labor. C. The direct labor expressed as a percentage of total labor. D. The overhead rate plus the unit cost of one for an hour of salary. The correct answer is D. The overhead rate plus the unit cost of one for an hour of salary. Explanation. The break-even rate is the overhead rate plus the unit cost of one for an hour of salary. For example, the overhead rate of 1.3 plus 1 equals the break-even rate of 2.3. This means for every $1 of salary, the firm must recapture $2.3 just to break even. Number 2. Which of the following is true about Equal Pay Act? A. It requires employers to provide a workplace free of recognized hazards. B. It verifies identity and the right to work in the United States. C. It prohibits wage discrimination by requiring equal pay for equal work. D. It regulates employee overtime status and overtime pay, minimum wage, record keeping and child labor. The correct answer is C. It prohibits wage discrimination by requiring equal pay for equal work. Number 3. Contractors general overhead accounts for how much of firm value? A. 4 to 10 percent. B. 8 to 10 percent. C. 15 to 30 percent. D. 85 percent. The correct answer is B. 8 to 10 percent. Number 4. What is A201? A standard form of agreement between owner and architect. B standard form of agreement between architect and consultant. C standard forms for construction, meant to facilitate or formalize process during construction. D general conditions of the contract for construction between contractor and owner. The correct answer is D general conditions of the contract for construction between contractor and owner. Number 5. Which of the following is true about the roles of additional services? A. Hold harmless provisions, assign risk from one party to another, draw the line of what responsibility is. B. Outline in contract to provide clarity, protect against scope creep. C. Assign caps to the amount of risk a contracting party is responsible. Take forms of fees, agreed amounts, insurance amounts. D. Protect the design professional's liability regarding use of work. Usually state the instrument of service may not be used elsewhere. The correct answer is B. Outline in contract to provide clarity, protect against scope creep. Number 6. Architectural fee accounts for how many percent of construction cost? A 10%, B 10.5%, C 12.5%, D 15%. The correct answer is A 10%. Number 7. Which of the following is true about America Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009, ARRA? A. It provides tax cuts for families and businesses, funding for entitlement programs, such as unemployment benefits, funding for federal contracts, grants and loans. B. It sets minimum standards for pension plans to include participation, vesting, benefit accrual, and funding. C. It requires employers to continue group medical coverage if employment is terminated or hours are reduced. D. It prohibits discrimination or segregation based on race, color, national origin, religion, and gender in all terms of employment. The correct answer is A. It provides tax cuts for families and businesses, funding for entitlement programs, such as unemployment benefits, funding for federal contracts, grants and loans. Number 8. What is cost estimation and schematic design based on? 
A detailed components of the building such as curtain walls, storefronts, lay-in ceilings, and so on. B unit cost system, cost per square foot, and similar building types, and, or functions of spaces. C major elements of each building system which are mechanical, structural, electrical, and plumbing. D unit rates for construction competes, assembles, and systems. The correct answer is C major elements of each building system which are mechanical, structural, electrical, and plumbing. Number 9. Who determines substantial completion? A contractor. B subcontractor. C architect. D material supplier. The correct answer is C architect. Number 10. What are current assets? A. Those easily converted to real dollars. B. Items that must be paid within the current 12-month period. C. Items that must be paid beyond the current 12-month period. D. The value of shares of stock, invested capital of shareholders, and the firm's cumulative retained earnings. The correct answer is A. Those easily converted to real dollars. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.